Okay, muli ay magandang umaga sa inyo mga kabayan. Time check muna tayo. So, now is 12.12. Uh, break time now is finished also. So, now our uh, topic for today is about the basic electrical materials materials that we are uh, usually using in the electrical and commonly used in the slabbing, uh, exposed uh, installation, embedded installation, wrapping ins. Okay, to start with, I'm going to show to you this uh, this box. Okay, this box is a PVC uh, round box. Uh, this is they call it a uh, terminal box. Okay, the or one way box. In this type of uh, PVC fittings, there is uh, for 25 mm, and there is also for 20 mm dia conduit. This is this this is the hub. Okay, this is the hub where you can see uh, what is the size of the pipe or what is the hub or, uh, size of this hub. This hub is 25 mm, and there is also for uh, 20 mm. Okay, now the second is this is also PVC round box, and uh, they call it uh, uh, straight two way. Straight because do you see the hub and the other side is uh, just straight. Okay, and there is a two uh, connection. Okay, one and two. Okay, next is uh, PVC round box uh, angle, two way angle. Okay, they call it PVC box to a angle because as you see, there is a two ten connection terminal one and two. Okay, then uh, it's just an angle, you see, uh, like that. Okay, so they call it uh, two way uh, angle. Okay, PVC round box two way angle, and this one is uh, PVC round box. T terminal because there is the T okay there is a three connection one two three and it look like T okay so once you request it to your uh, stores you just say uh, PVC round box uh, T okay and this is also the PVC round box uh, port terminal okay one two three port they call it normally cross. Then this one is a uh, U-box, okay? U-type, U-type PVC box, okay? Because there is two terminals and it looks like U, okay? Then uh, why I'm showing the PVC box which is empty, okay, like this? Uh, once we are using this in the slab, okay? We are putting uh, the foam inside, okay, to to avoid the the concrete is coming inside the box during the uh, installation in the in the floor floor slab, okay. Then after putting this one, we are using a black tape like this, okay. This black tape. So we we are uh, wrapping this. Uh, this PVC box like it's supposed to be is like this now this is the finished product and this is the front and this is the back once you install in the side be sure that the front front is facing on the on the floor slab okay and this is the hard uh, area is on the top okay don't install like that because if you install like that this is the uh, face pr uh, the front uh, your installation is going to be wrong okay in the absence of the that uh, this uh, black tape uh, we are uh, also using this masking tape just to put protection in our uh, PVC round box okay then uh, next is we have here I show you this is the 2x4 GI box okay and uh, the, this is the knockout okay there is 25 mm there is 20 mm knockout okay this, uh, this is 2 by 3 okay 2 by 3 
and this is a uh, 3x3 box okay as you can see here there is a 25mm knockout okay this one and there is also 20mm knockout this is a combination of 20 and 25mm knockout 3x3 GI box okay the height of this GI box is 47mm and this is the the 4x4 GI box okay there is also a combination of 20mm 25mm but normally we are using this uh, uh, 25mm okay here also this is we call uh, 3x6 okay uh, this one also have a combination of uh, 20 mm okay 20 mm and 25 mm knockout okay and uh, as you notice there is a grounding point an earthing point you see okay so all your box should have like this because uh, it is required on the on the side to have like that okay now uh, this one this is uh, we call it PVC coupling Okay, this is a uh, 25mm diameter. Okay, once you set 25mm, that is the inside diameter. Okay, and this is the uh, 20mm PVC coupling. Okay, 20mm PVC coupling, and this is now the uh, PVC adapter. And this adapter is we call uh, female female adapter. Okay. This ad this is female adapter. Okay, you see, this is female. Okay, once it's like this, okay, like that, it will called male adapter. Okay, but because this is uh like this, the there's a bushing we bring here. So this is now the female, and the size of that one is twenty mm. This is the twenty five mm. Uh, female adapter okay 25 mm this is what uh, normally we are using because once you install it in the GI boxes uh, no no obstruction because of the the nipple okay then here now this is the foam that we are using on the on the boxes use as a uh, to block as black out no inside then sometimes in the absence of this foam we are using uh, a paper okay like the paper of the uh, this cement bag like that okay so uh, that is the thing okay <clears throat> okay so gentlemen uh, this is the foam that we are commonly using to put inside the PVC box like this okay so after that we are putting the protection like PVC tape or this uh, masking tape okay as I told you uh, in the arsenal of this foam okay we are using paper maybe this is just paper or uh, scrap uh, cartoons like that uh, anything that you can put here which is easily to remove after the slabbing okay and this one is the uh, PVC glue okay this is the commonly glue that we are using here and as you see here this is the spring burner okay this spring burner is 25 mm diameter okay what you need to do is just put this uh, bender inside the pipe the PVC pipe and start the bending if you want the 90 degrees bends or offsetting offset bends you can use that and this is the uh, spring bender 20 mm dia okay we use this for 25 mm uh, PVC can do it okay and the other thing that you need for uh, uh, during the slabbing is for the marking we are using this uh, white pen okay to put in the in the flooring to do the markings okay in the floor slab and also this uh, pencil pen and 
of course you, uh, by using of this uh, tape measure okay then another thing is this uh, hacksaw blade okay uh, you use this for cutting up your uh, PVC conduit okay gentlemen okay uh, another one time this is the one-way terminal box this is the two-way two-way state PVC box this is a two-way angle PVC box this is the three-way T PVC box and this is the four-way PVC box and this is the U-type uh, PVC box this is the 3 by 3 GI box a uh, 3 by 6 GI box 4 by 4 GI box 3 by 3 GI box and 2 by 3 GI box the our PVC couplings okay and our PVC adapters our uh, PVC masking uh, PVC tape and this is our masking tape the PVC glue the foam uh, the PVC uh, bender 20 and 25 mm the hacksaw hacksaw blade okay the white marker and the uh, marker okay so that's it for now gentlemen I hope uh, I show you all the basic materials which is uh, we are uh, commonly used in the electrical installation in slabbing uh, embedded uh, basic electrical materials which is can use also in uh, exposed installation okay surface mounted so I hope that uh, you get some new knowledge regarding this uh, uh, electrical materials so that's it for today and see you on my next vlog thank you for watching and uh, shout out to all batang punta to all my uh, subscribers uh, thank you very much for supporting my channel and uh, watch out also to my family watch out to our my co-employees and workers here in Qatar so thank you for now if you like this video uh, please subscribe uh, push the no notification bell so that every time that I have a uh, new video it will notify you and please uh, like and share so thank you very much and bye bye Okay, uh, gentlemen, uh, uh, I will show you on how to use this uh, PVC bender. Okay, we have here the 20 mm PVC bender. Okay, and I have here uh, 20 mm PVC conduit. Okay, if you wish to bend this uh, PVC, okay, what you will do is you just put uh, in, uh, inside uh, this bender or insert it to the PVC conduit that you wish to bend for example you wish to bend uh, it in 90 degrees so insert the PVC bender, spring PVC bender then after that uh, you make your uh, bending okay so I use my knee okay to bend okay then I'm making now the 90 degrees bend okay as you can see that is already 90 degrees bend okay so perfect 90 degrees as you notice there is no kink in the bend because it is protected by uh, this PVC uh, this uh, spring bender okay so you see gentlemen very easy now if you wish again to make another bend like for example you need to make an offset very easy also so for example uh, we need to make an offset okay 
So insert the PVC, the spring bender. Okay. Make bends little like that. Okay. Then after that, you bend again the other one to make it offset. Okay. So you see, there's already an offset. Okay. There's already an offset here. Okay. It's already offsetting. Okay. As you can see, there's already an offset. See? You see this distance? This is your offset. So very easy. Okay. Then after you make your bends, just remove your PVC bender. Then that's it. You have already the offset bends. Okay. And the 90 degrees bends. Okay? So that is the the how to weigh. How to use, no? The way how to use the uh, PVC spring bender. Okay? So I hope gentlemen that uh, you get new knowledge again for uh, how to bend this uh, PVC can do it using our uh, spring bender. Thank you very much for watching.